Hey everybody, I am sitting on my front porch enjoying a beautiful day, sitting here with my friend Our Lady of Fatima, also known as Mary, the Mother of God. Right? This week we're talking about apparitions, and if you think about the word apparitions, what is included in that? You might be thinking right now, oh, app, like apps on my phone, games. Okay, sure, but apparition, appearing, right, it's what it is, is it's times when Mary has said, right, as our mother, she's like, you know what, I think my children, they need a little extra help. So, us being Mary's spiritual children, there have been times in the history of the world, right, after Mary was assumed into heaven, where Mary has appeared to people in different places like St. Bernadette in, in Lourdes, um, uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe in uh, Guadalupe, that was in Mexico, um, and then Our Lady of Fatima is one of the one of the really popular, famous ones. Where in Portugal in 1917 on May 13th, oh, that's today. Today's her feast day. Mary appeared to three young shepherd children. They were 10 years old, nine years old, and seven years old. <clears throat> she appeared to them and she talked to them about the importance of conversion and that we need to undergo conversion in our world. What is conversion? Basically what conversion means is a changing of our ways. That we need to be willing to really follow the Lord and the ways in which we sin and kind of go astray and kind of go off on our own and try to do our own thing, not following what God's asking us to do. That we need to really put effort into changing our ways and following the Lord. Now what I think is really interesting is that Mary appeared to three shepherd children. She didn't appear to three children who were painters or who were chefs or who were clowns in a circus or who were YouTubers, right? YouTube didn't exist back then. She appeared to three shepherds. And I think it's beautiful that she appeared to three shepherds to tell them about the importance of conversion and following the Lord. If any of you have pets, let's say you have a dog. Have you ever had it where you open the door and accidentally a dog runs out and now your whole family has to go and chase the dog and the dog's like and the dog runs all around everyone you have to like chase down the dog and try to and the dog's just running all over the place and you're like why won't my dog just listen that's what sheep do right and shepherds their job is to corral the sheep and keep the sheep following them closely but a lot of times the sheep just wander off and try to do their own thing and then they get lost and you're like, oh, now I need to find the sheep and chase after it because it has its own mind and it's trying to do its own thing and it's going crazy. Guess what? Unless we undergo conversion and try to follow the Lord, we're like that sheep or we're like that dog where we're like, oh, this looks like a really fun thing to do over here. I'm going to go do this thing even though it's not what God is asking me to do. Right? Whenever we sin... That's what we're doing. We're saying, God, I don't want to stay close to you. I don't want to follow you. I want to do this my own way. So I'm just going to wander off here and I'm going to do things my own way. It's beautiful that Mary appeared to three shepherd children. Three children would understand, yeah, it's not a good thing when the sheep just wander off. The reason why we need to undergo conversion is that we don't wander away from the Lord. We need to remain close to him so he can watch over us, guard us, protect us. Most of all, the way he can love us. We need to do everything we can to follow Our Lady of Fatima, Mary, our mother, to follow her advice of undergoing conversion. So my encouragement for you today is to pray and ask the Lord, Lord, what conversion do you desire for me to undergo? What area of my life do I need to change? Maybe it's telling the truth. Maybe it's not talking back to our parents. Maybe it's simply listening more. Maybe it's not fighting with our brothers or sisters. Pray and ask God. If for some reason you can't come up with something, I'm guessing if you ask your parents, they might be able to help you figure out something you could do to undergo conversion a little more. So let's try our best today. I'll say another beautiful thing that Mary told them is that a great way to assist us in conversion is praying the rosary and asking for God to give us graces through praying the rosary to be able to undergo conversion. So good luck on your quest for conversion. Try to pray the rosary as a family if you have time. And let's do all we can to follow the Lord the deepest degree that we can. God bless you.